G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel. Here's my latest of my crazy experiments in relation to mechanical television. I've recently just made myself a mini red, green, blue colour wheel to test out field sequential colour, which is which of course was um the sort of colour experiments that American company CBS did back in the 1940s and early part of the 50s using the uh, red, green, blue colour wheel method of producing colour pictures on a black and white set using the sequence of fields of reds, greens and blues or red, green, blue filtered black and white images now, what I have here is the colour wheel in action. Um, beside, I've got the original picture of a lorikeet in its bright rosy colours. And here on the display, I've got I've got an animation of the lorikeet with with the red with the red frame, green frame, and blue frame playing one after the other at a very rapid rate of um, 60 frames a second. And I've got the colour wheel adjusted up so it's fast enough to take each frame and and with the persistence of human vision um, a colour image is formed. So now I move the I move the um, video away from the colour wheel. As you can see it's a flickery, flickering black and white picture which is really um, a free different shades of black and whites which are shaded according to the filtering of the red, green and the blue channels. Move that down to the colour wheel. The, um, each colour filter passing each frame um, you get a colour picture. Mind you, um, you have to get the colour wheel exactly synchronised and with the right filter over each um, each colour frame in order to get a proper colour picture. I've got the I've got the motor speed good enough so it can briefly stay in sync with the motion of the picture to to briefly produce a an accurate colour picture when it's in phase. At the moment it's out of phase but as you've seen during the video it's briefly in phase and now it's just coming in phase right now. So it's in phase at the moment, now it's back out of phase. So what it actually is, is um, going, um, going by the images I've got here, um, that's the red channel. I've um, split the colour lorikeet picture to red, green, blue, so that's the red channel. Which the uh, reds come up, which each filtered colour comes up dark. So that's the red channel, that's the green channel, and that's the blue channel. Actually, uh, my mistake, um, each, each um, primary colour that's uh, filtered out comes up in, in high luminance. So here we have, uh, oh, whoops, so here we have red, which the beak's red so that it'll come up light, and the non-reds or the lesser reds come up a darker colour. Green, which the greens will come up nice and light, and the rest don't, and blue, which is which will come up nice and light. And yeah, of course, all the free channels combine together. Um, hold on. All the three channels combined together make the colour image, and and of course, um, as mentioned, I've got the animation of the three channels playing one after the other at a rapid rate of 60 frames a second, and behind the colour wheel spinning at close to the um, same frame rate, you get a colour picture.
Now I'm just going to switch off the colour wheel and you'll see exactly how it looks. So I'm plugging the power and um, yeah, this is sliding down. Um, I'll stop it. Oh, it's cracked. <laughs> oh dear. Um, as you'll see, you've got your red. Um, you've got your red. You've got your green, and you've got your blue. And when it spins fast enough, you get white light. And um, it's pretty much how it works. And having that spinning at the and as, as mentioned, having that spinning at the same rate um, as the motion of that red, grey, and blue channeled picture, you get the colour image. Flickery, of course, because it's because it's at um, it's pretty much at a rate of uh, 20 um, frames a second each colour, but when spun fast enough, it'll look like a proper colour picture, and you. And um, yeah, do that with an animated black and white picture that's in a successive uh, red, green, and blue frames. You get an anim animated color picture. Anyways, um, I have uh, done a pre-recording of the animated picture in action on my Sony HVC three thousand Trinicon tube camera to bring out a better colour picture on the screen at the moment it's, I've just got the black and white flickery image but I've done this um, in order to get a more accurate looking view of how it actually looks to the eye opposed to on my digital camera because the fact that, um, that the Viticon tubes have after image persistence so now we'll switch over to that recording and you'll see how it actually looks. So there you have it, a colour picture made up from three black and white channels through the use of a colour filter wheel spinning at a very fast rapid rate. Now, going on the internet and looking up CBS field sequential colour That's their uh, test card. Um, this is pretty much their kind of um, colour sets they had back in the very early 50s before um, NTSC Shadow Mask All Electronic Colour System came out in 1954. Uh, I'm just going to pull up a bit more information. Whoops, wrong one. Um, I'm just doing this live, by the way. <laughs> Um, 
that's how they have their system set up with um, in the in the um, use of six fields per frame which they have the odd lines scanned um, reds greens and blues and then the even lines in the opposite way uh, for greens reds and blues and that's pretty much so it's pretty much six fields per frame and um, their system running at a rate of 144 Hertz so so which gives say full frame rate of 24 frames a second interlaced and a field rate of uh, a full field rate of um, well actually pitch a rate of uh, full pitch a rate of uh, 48 pitches a second which is close to that of um, power standard color what I have set up is pretty much um, a frame sequential system instead of a field sequential system so it's pretty much red green blue red green blue red green blue one after the other so I'm pretty much getting a so I'm getting a full um, color frame rate of 20 frames a second of flickery pitches anyways um, yeah this is what they have they um that's their black and white camera with uh which they have a color wheel inside in front of the image orphicon tube to make the which spins at the appropriate rate to make the color pictures here we are here's an example you can see that um that segmented wheel there is their color wheel which you know, has red, green, blue, red, green, blue, and so forth, and spinning at the appropriate rate to in in, in um, sync with the image pickup to make the color pictures. And on the receiver end, you've got your color disc, um, segmented red, green, and blue, which you stick in front of a black and white receiver, which is modified to to uh, pick up the black the uh, field sequential color pictures and therefore you get a color picture anyways um yeah that's that's what I've been experimenting with lately and that's uh, a pretty good success Anyhow, hope you enjoyed this video. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts Channel, signing out.